Uh, Representative Legrand. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so, ma'am, can I ask you a simple question? Sure. When did you convey your this your the narrative? When did you when did you communicate the to substantially the narrative that you've given us today? At what uh, do you recall the date that you gave that to the uh, Trump legal team to Mr. Giuliani and uh, the woman sitting next to him? Uh, to Mr. Giuliani to the, to the to team. Them, uh, uh, I'm working with um, a different attorney. They, they, they well, they're here with you now, and they heard your and they heard your story. And it's not the first time they heard it. When is the when did you tell them? I have when did you give them essentially the, the narrative? To Mr. Giuliani. You, pardon. I, I'm not. Don't be. I'm not asking you to, to finesse here. I'm asking you when did you tell them the narrative that when you're telling us now? When did I write my first affidavit? November eighth. Thank you. That's a good, great place to start. Thanks. Right. All right. But does that answer your question? Because I think it, it does. Wasn't, it was sent to Lauren McLaughlin. If the, if the I, don't know I think if we're good here. Got uh, it. We'll move on. So thank you, Representative sure. Legrand. Just clarify for the record, I, I met her for the first time today mm -hmm. and talked to her for the first time yesterday. Mm -hmm. But if you're saying the affidavit is essentially consistent with her testimony today and that was submitted on November 8th, that's great. That's what I want to know. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, his statement was, I think, I think his statement was, if the affidavit matches the testimony today, you're good. Uh, Is that what you said? Of course it matches it. Okay. All right. Uh, with that, I think we'll move on uh, to our next person, if that's all right.